Welcome back to Go Kids Asia! We are so thrilled to have you with us today. Are you happy that you are still alive? And speaking of today, we're going to learn another Bible story. Are you all excited? Because I am super duper excited! But before we jump in, let us pray first. Dear Jesus, we praise you and thank you for this new day that you've given to us and that we are still alive. Be with us, Lord, as we learn songs and new story for today. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. So kids, sing along with us as we sing these songs for Jesus. And praise the Lord, and clap your hands and praise the Lord. Clap, clap. From the highest hills to the lowest seas, let us always praise the Lord. Clap, clap. Stand up and praise the Lord, and up. Clap your hands and praise the Lord. Clap, clap. From the highest hills to the lowest seas, let us always praise the Lord. Clap, clap. Stand up and praise, praise the Lord. And up. Clap your hands and praise the Lord. Clap, clap. From the highest hills to the lowest seas, let us always praise the Lord. Clap, clap. Stand up and praise the Lord. And up. Clap your hands and praise the Lord. Clap, clap. From the highest hills to the lowest seas, let us always praise the Lord. Clap, clap. From the highest hills to the lowest seas, let us always praise the Lord. From the highest hills to the lowest seas, let us always praise the Lord. Long before our fathers and grandfathers and our great-grandfathers and our great-grandfathers fathers was the time of Father Abraham, the father of many nations. Hello! But our story will start at the very beginning of how Abraham became Father Abraham. Abram lived in Haran with his wife Sarai along with their big family. Abram and Sarai loved God. One day, God appeared to Abram. Abram, leave your country, your people and your father's house, and go to the land I will show you. I will make you into a great nation, and I will bless you. I will make your name great, and you will be a blessing. I will bless those who bless you, and curse those who curse you, and all peoples on earth will be blessed through you. God gave Abram a promise to bless him. Abram believed and obeyed God. Let's go Sarai. Let's go Lot. Let us go to the place God has promised us. So, Abram went from his land with his wife Sarai and their nephew Lot with their servants and went to the place called Canaan. Get up, get 
ready, let's go to the land God promised us. Get up, get ready, let's go to the land God promised us. For He will always be with you, and He will always be with me. Get up, get ready, let's go to the land God promised us. Get up. Get ready, let's go to the land God promised us For we walk by faith and not by sight And the Lord will bless us, yes, that's right Get up, get ready, let's go Get up, get ready, let's go to the land God promised us Get up Get ready, let's go to the land God promised us For He will always be with you and He will always be with me Get up Get ready, let's go to the land God promised us. Get up, get ready, let's go to the land God promised us. For we walk by faith and not by sight, and the Lord will bless us. Yes, that's right. Get up, get ready, let's go. Abram and Sarai, with their nephew Lot, traveled all the way to Canaan. When they got there, they stopped by a very big tree. It was the tree of More at Shechem. And the Lord appeared to Abram again and said, Look, Abram, to the far north, to the west, east, and south, all the land you can see, I will bless and give to you and your children forever. And your children will be as many as the dust of the earth. After many, many years, Abram and Sarai became very, very old, but still they have no children. O oh, Sovereign Lord, how can you promise me with many children in this land when Sarai and I have none? Don't be afraid, Abram, for I am your shield. Look up to the heavens, Abram, and count the stars. They are too many, Lord. I cannot count them. Yes, Abram. There are so many stars that you cannot count them. Someday, you will have as many children as the stars in the sky. And so, Abram believed God's promise and went on his way. This is my promise to you. You will be a father of many nations. And you will no longer be called Abram. Because your new name shall be Abraham, for I have made you a father of many nations. God changed Abram's name to Abraham, which means father of many nations. God also told Abraham to change his wife's name, Sarai, to Sarah. God promised to bless Sarah and told Abraham that she would become pregnant and have a son. And God kept His promise to Abraham. God always keeps His promises just as He fulfilled His promise to give Abraham and Sarah a son. God keeps His promises because He loves us so much and wants us to fully trust Him as we live every day. It might look days or years, but God never forgets His promise. He just waits for the right time and the right moment when we are ready. He also kept His promise when He sent His Son, Jesus Christ, here on earth to be our Savior and Lord. And now, Jesus gave a new promise that He will come back for us someday and bring us all to heaven. And all we have to do is accept His promise and believe that Jesus is the only way we can get to heaven. If you haven't accepted Jesus Christ as your Savior and Lord, now is the time. Open your heart and receive God's free gift of salvation. And let God do wonders in your life, just like what He did to Abraham. The end! Wow, that's a wonderful story, babe! I love how God always gives His promises! Kids, here's some cookies for your afternoon snack! Just as I promised! Wow, cookies! Thanks, Mom! See, Iris, your mom loves you. That's why she never forgets her promise. Like our 
story for today? I like it too! Psalm 103 verse 1 Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless His holy name. One more time, kids! Psalm 103 verse 1 Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless His holy name. Good job, kids! I'm sure God is very happy to see you memorize the verse and as well as learn new Bible story for today. Kids, when you are ready, please send us a video of you memorizing the Bible verse. Now, let us pray. Jesus, thank you for the life of Abraham and thank you, Lord, that you are a God who keeps his promises and that we can trust you, Lord, for our lives. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for joining us today, kids, and we hope to see you next week. And we're going to learn more new songs and Bible stories. And don't forget to invite more kids to join us in Go Kids Asia! Bye! See you!